Now, welcome back to episode number three of the Fragcast. We have your boy Jim the Grim, Jofo Show, Lil Clorox, and with our guest today, we have X Seventh Son X, big Twitch streamer. Huge. He's huge. Too God bad. Tier. Check out his stream. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, ninja who? So, ninja. Second ninja. Um, who? So. <laughs> with today's podcast we're sponsored by nobody thanks rain shadow um, legends <laughs> <laughs> uh no like anyways. please guys we need that fucking money please we beg of you i play the um, game <laughs> i'm playing it so right, i'm playing it right now <laughs> it is go full circle <laughs> um <clears throat> so our first topic of the day we're just going to jump right into this because Fuck it, why not? Jim the Grim is going to be the first in line for this. We are going to talk about our top five of any subject. <laughs> so, Grim, do you want to start us off? Yeah, so... <laughs> hey, everyone. I think my first one that I'm going to go with is... Um, I was thinking about this a lot recently in my daily life, and I kind of want to incorporate it more, and... I actually just bought a lot of equipment for it, so we're gonna see how it goes. But blogging slash and or vlogging, um, I want to talk about like what we think about that, uh, wh- where it has a place in today's like um, where it fits into like culture of everything, and uh, how it's like a new uh, job, like a new industry sort of thing, and you know how its emergence, you know, is a help or a hindrance or a uh, a good or a bad or if it's sustainable. Stuff like that. So, what do you guys, th- right. do you guys think about that? Oh, I want to know what your number five is. My number- What's your least? Yeah, we got to go backwards on these. What are your number one last? Okay. Uh, dream job. What's your fifth? Dream, All right. dream job. Go. Go. Like, it's your list. Oh, my list? It's your list, yeah. Oh. Of any subject. Okay, well, my dream job would probably be to <laughs> be a, a owner and CEO of a company. Um, what kind of company, though? Hmm. Strip club. They're... I haven't really thought about that, but I think that the... Uh... What are you pointing to? Strip club. Joe, oh. I was pointing to Joe. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, well... I think for me it'd be like something that would benefit us um, as humans, like kind of locally, globally, regionally, something like that, something to help out, you know, something that would help. And I don't know what that is yet. That's why I've like never done it. (laughs) But I think like it would have to incorporate those things in there for it to be fulfilling for me. You know what I mean? In some way I'm helping someone somehow. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if I knew what that was, I'd probably already be doing it, but I don't cause I'm still kind of like, huh? <laughs> You're number four. Uh, I picked favorite superhero and I've thought a lot about this and it's, it's, it's hard, but I would have to say overall, I don't know. It's kind of a tie, but I think it's Deadpool and, uh, it would have to be. I have something for this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He comes I, back in a Deadpool mask. Yeah. I'm putting a smiley no, face over it would him have for to the be... rest of the pod. Oh. <laughs> Spider Man. There it is. Nice. Two, can play, <laughs> two can play a, this game, fucker. And, and I really like. I, I, maybe to like counter that, I really like. Uh, Joker. He's not really a superhero. He's more of a supervillain, but I really like him as a villain. Um, I really like, you know, what, That's fair. what he's all about to kind of like put a balance to it. I really agree to that, especially with the Joker just being because of Heath Ledger alone. Mm-hmm. And then, exactly. Um, I have, for, uh, forgive me, I forget the actor's name for the Joker movie. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Him. Yeah. He, yeah, exactly he's, as Tim put it. This is it. And then, oh, oh. shit, Batman and Spider-Man. We got two different universes here. 
Yeah, no, that was. That was <laughs> well, that's kind of what I did. I said, I said, right? I said, um, Deadpool Nightmare. and then Joker. But yeah, yeah I think I think both uh, universes yes. are great. I wouldn't say for me <laughs> it it's a controversy. A that hurt. But, but yeah, so those are those were uh, I kind of like if I had to think about it on top of my head, like those would be it. That's sick. Well, I already found out what these two are for their favorites. Um, I guess. Fuck! If I gotta put a superhero into the conversation, I would probably have to acknowledge. Rorschach. Oh, that's a good <laughs> one, dude. That's a really Rorschach good one. Rorschach from Watchmen. That's a good one. He, yeah. He went... <laughs> <laughs> he, he he definitely went... I can't do it. Ew, that one um, was wet. <laughs> that, yeah, that was... <laughs> Narcy's <was, okay>. voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you... <laughs> you <went back. laughs> um... No, I have to say Rorschach just because, what, number one, um, Watchmen is my one of my favorite movies after after Back to the Future. Can we go have, on a tangent um, about the Watchmen show, though? Yeah, wait, have you seen it? I was I, no, 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 I have not seen it. Okay. Please don't. Okay, all right. I gotta watch it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have access to watch it, so I gotta watch okay. it. It's sex. Well, oh, dude, let's plan it. Let's plan it sometime, Jax. Uh, I'll stream it, and then we'll, we'll like have a movie night or something. Done. Like okay. in, in Discord. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm one hundred percent down. I love Watchmen. Awesome. So I did the movie. I did the graphic novel. I watched yep. the movie like several more times after reading the novel. Yeah. And the reason why I like him is just because I really like his fucking like, morales with the whole series like his philosophy he's like yeah. yeah his whole philosophy behind it's like no this guy's fucked up get rid of him like the one less person to have to deal with with something completely fucked you know mm -hmm. exactly. just especially with the one scene like he comes in one of his first times ever killing a person is a dude who like abducted kids and i guess killed them and like the bones were in the oven yeah. and all that stuff yep yeah and then he just like butchers the bad guy Add him to response. the doggos. Yeah, yeah. So I, I thought that was like the doggos. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> he's he's an eye for and an eye so, type of guy. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So, um, anyways, Grim, what's your number three? Number three, um, was that there's something that came up a lot recently, um, and a lot of controversy surrounding it, um, was streaming for charity and what we think about it. Um, which kind of ties into like the dream job thing. Like, I think like for me, if I were to stream for charity, I would like do it to like help as many people as I could. But then there's like a fine line. Like, there's people who get paid for it, and there's people who like don't. Like, I don't know where I lie there. Like, if it's helping someone and you're also getting paid, is it wrong? No. Yes. Yeah, I think I don't... for like. You're just still boosting your popularity and you're still getting out there, but I think for like the time that you're streaming for the time of the charity, 100% proceeds go towards kind of thing. Right. Like you don't pocket anything out there. You're still getting out there. You're still like getting, you know. We are not Susan G. Komen. Yeah, you can't I would get actually paid I thought I thought about it and I think I agree I, I agree way 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 more with Tim's point on the situation. Regardless of how big you are, a chair excuse me a charity stream is a charity stream for a reason right i think that's where it kind of sits anything that happens during that stream i think any proceeds any money even if the company's sponsoring you then just be like hey this is what i was paid to do that money i'm just going to put towards the charity as well mm -hmm. i th i think i'm going to have to agree with yeah tim and show on their opinion or their answer on that yeah so i would have to align it a, a lot with you like it, you know like i i think it's i don't think it's inherently wrong like but it's like it's ethically and probably morally like incorrect right like i i don't think like it's like something you should like benefit off of like you know what the charity's like it's almost like contradictory to what the charity's trying to do right like they're trying to be a charity f and champion for this certain whatever you know whatever the charity may be 
and you're just sitting there like, oh yeah, you know, I'll get the attention out, but you know, where's where's my cut of the charity? You know what I mean? And I don't I don't think that's okay ever in any in any yeah. in any circumstance. Yeah, right? yeah, that's a that's actually a really good topic to bring up. Yeah, no, I never even really thought about the profit off of doing the charity streams, and um, yeah. I participate with um, Derek in the um, was it gate. Give me a second. I'll come up with it. In sure. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Anyways, um, Extra Life. Oh, the yeah, Extra yeah. Life charity. So, yeah, that's the charity that I've participated in. I've tried to participate in it for years, in it for years but schedules just didn't line up. I wasn't able to do a 24-hour, and I always kept forgetting to, like, book days off for it. Right. Um, but finally, last year, I was able to do the Extra Life for Kids, and that's one charity I personally really support mostly because with the canadian streamers it's immediately supports the sick kids uh within canada itself so that that's why i really like about it and any proceeds i went towards um i never did it on my stream it was always part of Derek's stream any of the proceeds always went back towards um extra life for kids nice um so i guess moving on if we're if we have everything we said about that all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, my next one, it kind of sort of we're getting deeper now. Um, uh oh. What do we feel about universal basic income? Fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Split second here. We we're like top five of whatever subject you want to do, and Grim just was like, "What's everyone else's top five? And that was such a fucking sm- like oh. good idea. Oh. What's everyone else's top five? No. Mine is straight up my top five of whatever I picked. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I really like. That's what I kind of really like about Grimm's idea is because it, it gets everyone's into the subject. And I really wish I did my list around that. I can't, <laughs> um, I can't wait to read my list. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fucking great. Um, no, so sorry. Super pause on that. Like I, that's that's good top five list grim i really like the way you're going with this okay um (laughs) anyways let's continue with the conversation sure what's everyone's thoughts um i guess i'll just share mine uh, super quickly yeah go for it Yeah, yeah um my thoughts on it are i think it should be a thing um and I think it, sh- but I think it should be managed correctly, right? Like, I d- it's just, it's hard to tread these waters, but I think it should be managed in a way that like the people who need it now should get it, right? And the people that are already can already pay for the rest of their lives and then some over ten more times um, shouldn't necessarily. It's hard to say that because it's universal, right? So it's like everybody should be entitled to it. It's kind of like like some kind of social welfare where it's like I don't want to say it's like some kind of utopia, but I want to kind of like portray it in a way that like I see it being like sustainable in the fact <clears throat> that people from the top can help supply this and bring this to become a thing. Like people with the money like I'm, this isn't I don't think this I, I, I like this person I'm just using them as an example of, as a rich person um, Elon Musk like for instance like you know how, what he wants to do is he wants to get people off you know the earth and <laughs> and uh, he wants to help them so why not take this step further right why not like help supply people with universal basic income now whether he not he has plans for that I don't know I'm just using him him as an example like, and I think it could be sustainable. I'm not sure how we would do it, but I think, like I said in the beginning, we would have to do it very carefully as to not... I agree with that. But the thing that is, is the way the world works is the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Right. So it would have to be, like, it would have to be a, a huge, like, what is it, uh, systematic It would have change. to be a Jeff, Bez- Jeff Bezos tier. Yeah. Um, like Bill Gates. Bill Gates tier. Yeah. They would have to contribute way more to the population than what's actually been contributed. Mind you, Bill Gates is a good soul, but at the same time, he owns so much that so much shady shit goes on. 
Mm-hmm. Um, that'd be that'd be a hard topic to topple. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, like kind of almost on, on the surface level. I'm not saying we should deep dive into it, but it's it's something that you know it was popping into my brain, and I'm like, oh, what, what, how will people think about this? Like, how do people's like differences differ from me? I just I just want them to be taxed, and what I really want from people like that, um, just going off like you know the one percenters, is I sure you know what they started the company, they're rich. I agree with that. That's their idea. They made it happen. They put in right. so much work to make it happen. But billions of dollars rich and you pay your employees minimum wage? No. Yeah. No. But on the other hand, you get a lot of people that pop in and out when you get to that point within a company. So if you put in X amount of hours to be with the company, you build up that ladder of wage increase, um, benefits increase, 401ks, retirement fund, like all, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Right. Like you put in your time with the company, the company pays you for it. Well. But when you get people like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Power, it doesn't happen. It just goes right back to the rich get richer. Um, but yeah, no, I, yeah. Anyway, what's, what's your next one, Grim? Um, well, hold on, hold on. I want to like. Oh yeah, hold on. Okay, yeah, chime in, chime in. Just um, maybe a different perspective and a different take on that. Um, because maybe my understanding is a little different on it too. But I do. I like what you're saying. I like where your your head's at with that. Um, but I'm thinking is like kind of like universal care, but like, or income, but to a point where it's like it could be incentivized per like in society too like you know the the laborer the you know the the landscaper the gardener whatever shouldn't be making the same as someone who is like doing you know open heart surgery so it could be like a tiered like a tiered money cap system yeah. based on like the the job or profession that you're in like the doctors and stuff like that like you know if you still want to go to university or post secondary you know maybe you make a certain like a little bracketed more amount but there should be a limit cap on that. Like, you know, and who's to say what that cap would be? Like, let's say, like, you know, pr- people can, mo- like, live a pretty damn good life at 5 or $10 million a year. But beyond that, do you give that back? Do you get so X amount per year totaled, right? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, there's things, ways you can think about that and go around it, and I don't know what the answer is. But... So, so kind of just not to cut you off and not to but more so when i think universal basic income i think like something that's like it is is a government program and it's given to everyone and everyone gets the same amount kind of like let's just say social security but like right now instead of okay i get it i see what you're saying now yeah. now i light bulb yeah, yeah instead okay. of instead but you yeah, can yeah, but yeah. you can also have a job and you can have an income over universal basic income. You just everybody gets a UBI just for living in that country. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's kind of like. Anyways, that's what I think of when I think universal basic income. But. Um, yeah, that's just. Uh, anyway, uh, Joe, thoughts? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have them. <laughs> And they are things. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Joe right. entered, so, Joe entered okay. the Matrix. <laughs> okay, so, I'm like, so I, I'm not gonna me, lie to you. I, these are way more serious subjects <laughs> that we're touching on. Than I thought in it was the gonna board be. meeting, I say one fucking thing, and it's like I want this shit to be <laughs> fucking funny. I don't want to talk about serious shit. And then he says, "How do you feel about the poor?" <laughs> You said top five things that came to my mind. I'm sorry. Okay, but no. Yeah, no, it's straight to the mind. Okay. This is the subject. You're on subject. It... Okay. That's it. Long story short with it. <laughs> yes, it's a good idea. No, because it's going to be abused as shit, and there's. I feel like there's a lot of negatives that can come in with that. Like these higher up people and i like the tier system but then the tier system can kind of be abused too because then like okay say it's at five million dollars is that cap right okay i'm i'm only gonna make four million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars 
so I don't go over that cap. So I still get this amount, and I don't have to pay anything else. Mm-hmm. You know, say, like, the most we a person should make is that five mil. All of a sudden, so, everybody in the world is making four million nine hundred ninety nine thousand, just to of, make sure they don't go over. If, but if the whole world is making what that, if is they that did a bad it? thing? Okay, I meant like <laughs> yeah. the rich people. I didn't mean the whole world. If the whole world made that much money, then the dollar wouldn't be worth anything, and then a yep. gallon of milk would be twenty five thousand dollars, and we yep. don't want that. That's silly. Oh, well, that that's in yen. Though. 50 portions that's it it's in your fucking yen one quarter um, portion yeah that's what i that's um, what my brain goes to well kind of what i was thinking with that bracket was everyone gets taxed the same amount like in canada i know taxes in the states are lower and but here we have a 13 percent. we have a 13 percent hst on every single thing we buy yeah any investment we have a hst on any money we gain is 13% to the government. So, if you're making millions, millions 13% millions. is still gone. Make 1 million, that's pretty you so, lose that's, out $130,000. That's a lot. I mean, that's Yeah. I mean And but but see, I've been to Canada so and and you know, I I'm practically a dual citizen expat. Yeah, most of your family's in Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, why I can move there. I, I might someday, dude. I'm because this is what I was gonna One say. Of us. <laughs> this is what One I was gonna say us. is <laughs> when you go up to Canada and and they their roads, you know, most of your guys' paved roads stay paved. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You haven't been to Quebec then. I, I my family's from Quebec. <laughs> careful, oh, okay, with you, careful, <laughs> careful with what you speak there. Um because roads in the States have been way better than Canada's from my experience. I See where I'm from. I just, but I just don't. That see also it. applies to the heat, and you don't have as many snow plows plows in the southern states. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ohio, we get a lot of snow. So I, I I'm, and so does Chicago. Um, and our, we don't get any snow. Yeah, but so wrong, I'm, I'm used city. to the, I'm used to salted, and you know, we have to pave every, every year for it. Um, you know, and well, here in I Chicago, don't, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. Anyway. Let's move on from the subject. Grim, what's your last one? My last one was just uh, snow plows. What I was saying <laughs> to begin is like... Mr. I was, plow, that's money. <laughs> I was thinking about like blogging and uh, vlogging. I just bought a GoPro. I am super hyped about it. And I, I'm, I'm thinking... 100%. I want to do the same thing. Yeah. I think it's super cool. I think that it's going to take... It's, it's already taken off. It's already an industry. It's something that um, most content creators kind of can do in their spare time so why wouldn't i be able to do that you know and i was talking to you guys offline earlier um jackson joe and and you know um tim this is probably news to you and most people but i'm i'm literally quitting my job soon and i'm going to full-time just travel with my girlfriend and content create everywhere i go and part of my vacation is going to be me like kind of doing a test run with the gopro and like filming some really cool areas like i bought extra batteries all the cool little gadgets that go with the gopro and then i'm gonna just send it you know and just i'm probably gonna 100 percent do it probably gonna buy a domain probably gonna start posting putting it on instagram like just gonna full send i I think it's super sustainable as long as you just you know keep the drive going and that's kind of like where i'm at with it and that's kind of any notes yeah hardcore parkour yeah parkour videos Uh, that's all i ask of you um the one thing i really like about that idea is the fact is like okay like people go online like i enjoy watching like a bunch of content creators but i really like it when they're like oh yeah by the way this is my daily life this is what i do and it's like Mm -hmm. good ideas like those would be fun like you know like personal experiences like this is what they saw this is what they did and it's like i want to do that yeah. yeah it's like it's like it's like pure, it. yeah it's like pure content you know as, as long as you're entertaining you know yeah no I, i'm not the minute you, this, you we, are no. dude stop no, it. the minute this camera turns <laughs> off i'm boring as shit wake up Fuck go it. to work make a hot pocket okay stream, <laughs> okay we're gonna get we're gonna chat. get to some interesting stuff later joe on. does the weekly the weekly vlogs yeah <laughs> Hey, I hope you bought a like a wristband or something like that. Cause my buddy did that. He went on vacation for like two weeks, and on the second last day of his vacation, he went scuba diving with his GoPro, and he dropped his GoPro in the bottom of the ocean. No. 
<laughs> so like buy a strap or a necklace or something because yeah. he lost his whole trip. I bought all your heads. I bought I bought like the head thing. I bought the chest thing. Yes. I bought the stick. I bought all of it. Like I bought so, the bike the bike mount. We're gonna rent bikes when we go on vacation. We're gonna film so that. You can do parkour videos is what you're telling me. <laughs> yes, I dude. I used to be obsessed with parkour videos. I'm telling you, like parkour you, is you sick. definitely look like the kind of dude that would be into parkour videos. Like 16, 17 year old Grim was like, I'm gonna fucking do this, man. I got this. Oh. Except I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Low altitude parkour. He's just jumping over <laughs> bricks and shit. Yep. Single bricks. Yep. <laughs> um. Anyway. Anyway, Joe, what do you got for your top five? Those are my top five. Okay. <laughs> Thank hey, you, Grim. Um, that's how my brain works. That, that was. That was. Yeah. That was way more in depth subjects than I Whoa. Had expected. Help. Joe, see ya. Help! Where'd I go? What happened? I don't know. Grim's gone too. Uh, Everybody's oh, dying. I think everybody Discord, switched I think, places and now it's fucked. I think Discord died. Joe was the only one without camera. Oh! There he is. Hey, we're back, back to Hey, fixed it. Welcome back. That was um, scary. Joe, yeah, all was. of a sudden it was just like bah! in my ear. <laughs> he but said the code words. The desktop audio was off, so it doesn't matter. Well. True. Ahem. Face there you are. He doesn't recognize me in my glasses. Um, my top five. <laughs> Sour Patch Kids, Warheads, Lemons, Gummy Worms, Blue Chug Rug. <laughs> <laughs> I feel embarrassed now. Okay, my so top those are. <laughs> I feel like I. I feel like I big brained it too much now. I'm self conscious. I'm gonna go. <laughs> my top five. <laughs> 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 um sour things what was your number one there joe <laughs> sour pitch kids. Sour oh you bought the kids. pound bag <laughs> he just looked he sees something he's like that's it Oof, oh. I don't know. That's arguable I, because I feel like sour gummy worms are superior. No, sour patch kids are. Sour really? Patch kids. Uh, Am I the only one out on that one? Yeah, I found them too hard to chew sometimes. Like you get a weird pack and Ooh, no. you get the tough ones. Sour gummy worms, like if it resembles a worm or an insect, I'm not eating it. <laughs> That's just... uh, you would not do well with chocolate covered crickets. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> uh, and, and like that are like... Most... Like what? Like mozzarella too. Like mozzarella. Like, 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 it just makes you like ugh. <laughs> the cheese. Yeah. Like I. You I, don't. <laughs> what? I think I had a bad experience what? as a kid, like getting it like stuck in my throat and like. Did you I, get jumped by a mozzarella gang? Yeah, in my throat <laughs> did. <laughs> the stinky cheese man. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a really bad story about mozzarella. Super quick. Yo, fuck your cheddar. <laughs> so my I'm the oldest sibling. Yeah. I only have one brother, my younger brother. He, we went out to dinner one night and he ordered nothing but mozzarella sticks. Cheese was the only thing that kid fucking ate at the time. Hell yeah. And I guess he ended up getting a food poisoning from it. Oof. And I remember like, it was me and my mom. My brother was cl crying a bloody murder for his fucking stomach. It hurt so bad. So bad. Like he was tear. Like he was probably about eight, eight or nine. <clears throat> so he was like bloody murder we're about to drive him to the hospital we're strapping up in his uh, car seat and everything and then all of a sudden he fucking barfs all over the fucking minivan like projectiles and he's like I feel better yeah oh, no. it was like it's it's one smell I will never forget the cheese stick made is the, cheese the mozzarella sick. cheese sticks <clears throat> regurgitated in the fucking minivan i think, <laughs> I think the minivan the worst odor, experience with my with mozzarella cheese ever the minivan odor by itself is its own unique tang and oh then yeah that's every true. minivan has its own smell that's true yeah, every minivan if you have a minivan you have kids and there's always a unique smell to it and yeah. it's never good kids fucking smell weird kids suck <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, and it, All right, there's the title. Joe thinks kids smell weird. 
<laughs> um, Joe, what was your number two? My number two was uh, Warheads because those are very sour. Ooh, I think Warhead, Warhead, and like my Ooh. my 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 no no places clinch. They have to be the blue ones though. <laughs> Only the blue ones are good. The blue, the ones. yellow ones just hurt. I agree 100. Yeah. percent I was gonna say something negative, but I'm like, no, I really like blue Warheads. They're tasty as fuck. But, no, I agree with that one. Num- your number three was? Lemons, because I was running out of sour things. So yesterday, no, guess what? Uh, my, my brother com- pops in my room. You know, I'm gaming. He pops in. He's just like, you know, we talk for a second. I'm like, what's up? And he's just like, can I have one of your lemons? I'm like, yeah. He goes, I want to eat it. This dude eats lemons like a goddamn orange. Oh. Well, and he, check he- that off of people that I don't want to meet in a dark alley. Yeah, well. Anyways, yeah, my brother loves sour things, so like I like sour things, but like he's the kind of sewer, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean Go go get I'm him. not too big on sour, I can't. We need I can't to know if sour. you think sour patch kids are better than sour gummy worms. <laughs> I was gonna say just like getting ready to eat a lemon right now. <laughs> yeah. So you could do the lemon. sour but you can't eat a lemon. <laughs> ha- but you Okay, Tim, hear me. You can do. You can eat a whole lemon right now, but you can't eat ketchup, ketchup chips sometimes because they're so spicy. What? Or barbecue? Sorry, barbecue chips because. Oh, they're so I was spicy. like ketchup chips. You bro, stop. Me? Yes, you. No, like His I probably can't eat a fucking lemon. What are you talking about? Oh, I thought that's what you were saying. Like, give me a lemon right now. <laughs> no, I want to see every. I want to see other people eat lemons, not me. Oh, <laughs> I can't do it. I do it, but I can't do it. No, nope, I'm, no, and I'm, I'm done. I told you the barbecue chip thing in confidence. What? Wow. What do you mean? Every, everyone of your friends knows that. Everyone, every one of your friends fucking knows that. No, 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 no. I know. I can't the do, internet um, doesn't know it. I can't do spice. Like, it's not barbecue. Barbecue is alright. It's sweet chili heat is my spice threshold. But oh. that's like the best. That's but yeah. It's I well, eat no, 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 no. As Tim can finish as I a bag before I have to like go get bread and stuff and a drink. I have like, that's my I can bring out I can bring out some spicy chips right now and eat some for you. I would go yeah, and by like what is it? My proxy? Yep, yep. <laughs> Be my surrogate spicy. <laughs> you can live spicy uh, <laughs> vicariously through me. Be my spice Perfect. surrogate, please. <laughs> um I don't even know what my spice threshold is. I bought a six two ounce bottle of this hottest hot sauce in the world in Tennessee. It's a pretty good threshold. What the fuck? And then you put it no, in the I tip of do your it. dick. <laughs> As a dare, Joe. Yeah. Well, no. Nobody just does that on, like, a Tuesday evening. That's weird. You have to wait until someone challenges you. Right. Um, Wednesday evening. Anyway, I bought that. And the only reason I bought it was because when I was working in the kitchen, everyone's like, I fucking love, like, the spiciest food. We had, like, suicide sauce and shit. I'm like... I got you. That, that's scary. And like, I gave it to my coworker, and he was like, "But when he went to sniff it, the out, the edge of the bottle had the sauce right on the edge, and it got just under his nose. He ended up inhaling the sauce. Nice. And in an instant, he was like fucking in tears for an hour. That's awesome. They recommend like one drop for a whole pot of chili. See, I That's would like it. sneeze. <laughs> I'd just be like, I chew, fuck. All right. And then yeah. my chili would be <laughs> These chips are What's that? super Oh, hot. yeah, we have those. Yeah, we have yeah. those. I would die. Yeah, no, Tim would be dead. Um, I'm and then, done with food so challenges. We dropped, we ended up, one of the people in the kitchen ended up dropping the bottle, shattered. They poured the rest of it into like a two ounce cup. And then we're like, hey, try this sauce to another coworker, mm, and we like hand him the two ounce and he dips the whole bread in the sauce completely covers it and like he went to take a bite and immediately my coworker was like no yeah like, that's that's grabbed like his a, hand like that's a no tempted murder yeah i was gonna say like you have to sign yeah. a waiver to like have that if I, I, that I literally signed a waiver to, people, to buy that you're in jail yeah, yeah so... but they didn't sign a waiver to sniff it. It's actually yeah. like, I signed it, so everybody else has to eat it now. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Um, so the other guy took it. He squeezed out the hot sauce from the bread, 
put it into uh, three different things of wings, and then is like, here, here's your bite. <laughs> and then he took the bite, and the dude was suffering for like two hours. He's like, dude, why would you cork me over like that? He's like, dude. I would have let you eat the whole fucking thing if I wanted to screw you. Oh. <laughs> like, it was bad because it was Carolina Reaper oh, God. with Habanero with... Oh, fuck, what was it called? There was Ghost Pepper. And then it, it was nothing but the top of the line wow. hottest peppers in the world. It was fucked. Pepper X, dude. Pepper X is like, yeah. it's delicious, but it, it's so hot. Like That just so sounds hot. like a like a superhero. Professor X. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I'm thinking of. What was your last one, Joe? Uh, Blue Chug Rug from G Fuel. Hi, G Fuel. Agreed. Oh, fuck. I don't have my Chug Rug over here. I have... Agreed. <laughs> PewDiePie. How is that? Uh, Lingonberry is probably my fourth favorite. Oh, wow. And that's behind um, Nemesis... Um, hype sauce and peach iced tea. Okay, the hype sauce Hell is here. Yeah. I just realized we're talking about spicy shit, and you just said it. The nemesis. That's like the cayenne pepper G fuel, right? No, no, ne- no that's the doom. That yeah. Oh uh, yeah. That's, okay, the ne- doom ne- Nemesis yeah, is the Arnold like, Parma. How is that? Demonade's right there. Terrible. Don't do not buy demonade. I'm not going to. I'm not an idiot, but oh. like that one. I mean, for me, not you. <laughs> You're good. I can't handle that. But like. Is it hella spicy? Yes and no. It's it's just like normal lemonade, and then all of a sudden it just kind of like burns at the end, and then you're done with it. That. Oh. Yeah. Move moving forward. Yeah. Staring there at you. There was like a pee joke involved in that. And then staring. I like didn't do it. Staring at Cliff intently right now. Okay. What? Um. Okay. So I guess we're moving on to my top five. I'm gonna go backwards on this list. I am sorry, but most of you should know these characters. I'm doing my waifus. Knew and Tim it. called that. Tim called it. I called I'm that before it. anything. Was, I'm like, yeah, Jackson's going to do waifus. 100%. How many of them have six syllable names? Not. Hatakori Hatapatapa. I'm getting close. Look None of them. them. None of them, wow. actually. So, my number five. I'm going to go from 5 to 1. Tsunande. Naruto. I just wish she was younger, actually. No. Old lady Tsunade. Really? Tsunade. I, don't, I don't like a lot of the girls in it. Actually, sorry. The I thought of one. No. I thought of the other one. It's the girl with the fan. Probably her would beat Tsunande. Um, but the first one that came to mind was Tsunande just because of the massive tits. Oh. So I think that justifies my answer on the fifth. <laughs> I'd... I just wish she wasn't an old lady. Okay, well, first lady, of all, fangirl's name is Tamari. Tamari. Nope, the fangirl. And... That's all she gets. Fangirl, that's it. Tamari, I hard ship. Um, anyways, <laughs> number four. Akame from Akame Could Kill. I don't know if any of you watched that. Tim, I'm trying to, I tried to get you to finish yeah. that. Yeah. Akame because she's hella kawaii. Not gonna lie. Third... You guys know the show Kill a Kill. <laughs> yeah. Rukia Matoy. Out of gear with her. And then the next two are going to be very... Um, I don't know. If you've seen them, then you probably won't like my choices. You know from Future Diary. Slash uh, Mariah Nikki. She is... Basically, she has pink hair, dresses up in, like, this super cute latex outfit. That's the reason why. (laughs) And my number one is Food Wars. God Tongue. Hmm. Nobody knows anime, so anyway, pass on my number five list. What a fucking god My top five categories is anime. (laughs) (laughs) I did anime characters. Who the fuck um, names their child God Tongue? This, no, she's referred to as the God Tongue. I couldn't remember her actual name. Oh yeah, no wonder why you like her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, she's she's pretty cute. Um, what about that cat anyways, girl that we just saw? 
Got to be more specific. Oh! Oh! I don't know the anime, dude. While we were, like, before the podcast, Jax made me sit through, like, 27, 27 minutes of emo rap over anime titties. Dude, you listen to the same fucking rap. Yeah. I didn't say horrible <laughs> music. I said emo rap. My statement still stands. <laughs> and if it wasn't anime titties, it was Madara Uchiha kicking ass. Yeah. I'm trying to think about who my favorite anime waifu is, and it's pretty... Boruto's dad. It's just Naruto. Sasuke! Boruto's dad! Naruto! Wait, what's her name? Um, Crap. He's he's Googling right now. While he's Googling, I might as well search up who the fuck God Tongue is in Food Wars. What's her name? name? So... Um, so while you were doing that, I was just searching it as you were saying it, and I was covering our pictures with anime titties, basically. So that was Thank perfect. You. Who did I get? Arena Nekiri. That's what Faye it is. Faye Valentine. Yes. What Valentine? Cowboy Bebop. What's that from? Oh. I haven't watched that yet. Okay, I haven't watched that yet. It's on my list. Gotta finish that. Yeah, she Man. she's my OG waifu. Missed. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Tim, your waifu? I was eight. Aqua. Aqua from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. shit. We bought... Okay. <laughs> right here, we're going to link the picture. What? No. Go Yeah, go I'll, I'll send direction. you the picture. Go to the no, other no. direction. We're linking the picture. No, stop pointing that way. Point the other way. Yeah. Right here? Yes. <laughs> right here, we'll put the picture me and tim ordered a cake oh yeah because tim did a full kingdom hearts series playthrough on his stream full 100 what was what was it, 150 yep. hours yeah it was about 100 it was about 130 hours 130 hours of kingdom hearts straight and he was like i gotta celebrate with a cake you can explain the rest yo but tifa yeah Tifa, Tifa's with, no, but the new uh, game, like, Jesse, there's so much sexual energy in Final Fantasy VII Remake that Jesse can, like, she has to get credit where credit's due. Anyways, um, yeah, I played all of Kingdom Hearts, and um, the whole, like, chat and everything donated and paid for a waifu cake, and I actually had to go to, like, we had to order, like, from Baskin Robbins, and, like, Jax was trying to get, it, like, hentai-ish, and I'm like, I can't order anime tits. <laughs> on a cake like people work that there's like kids in high school that have to make these cakes i will go to jail <laughs> no that would have made it 10 times better. <laughs> it would have been terrible so they probably would have rejected got, it we got a clothed version of aqua on an ice cream cake Ooh, damn and ate it on stream damn <laughs> there was still it was some good. thigh piece though oh like, <laughs> it was very very well done i gotta give them that baskin robbins delivered on that cake um so, yeah yeah, that's kind of the Aqua story, tasted but good. anyway, yeah. Um, Tim, what's your top five? Uh, it was anime. At first, I like d- like didn't know what to do like properly. Like, oh man, I was supposed to make like five different topics. Um, that's so why I, I kind of did like, yeah, I kind of did a reverse top five of my anime, and like we've talked about most of them already. Um, so, like, fifth favorite, I guess, anime is actually Food Wars. I find that shit, like, that was hysterical. That's such a atypical anime that is, like, it's really good <laughs> and it's, like, catchy, but for all the weird reasons. Um, it's really good. Number four, this might get some flack, but, uh, number four is actually uh, My Hero Academia. Oh. Yeah, number good four. One. Yeah. Good call. Number three Number for four, me. really? That's what I'm saying. I might get some flack. Because My Hero for me is only number four. I thought um, that was going to be, out. like, your number one or two. No, you should know it. You'll, you'll, it'll make sense. But number three for me, and this is why I actually place it over my hero, um, Death Note. Ooh. I like Death Note a lot. Good choice. It's, and like, it's, that's the, like, it's the intro. It's everyone knows. It's the one that you can get everybody into. It's one you can always watch at any given time. It's the one that you can bring in some really heavy questions and, like, you know, <laughs> bring in some, like, philosophy and talk about it. It's great. And just sit um, like this. Nope. Not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna do it. <laughs> I 
neighbors now hate me. Like L? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'll say like L for the rest of this. I'm just gonna spin around though. Um, I try to get my foot uh -oh. up, but the leather is too I smooth. I my headset. I have to use blankets because my cat scratches my chair. I don't have a cat, so it doesn't scratch my chair. Perfect. Um, yep, there it is. Yeah, so number three is Death Note. Aren't there you it is. pants? I am. It's, it's just shorts. <laughs> uh, I definitely S. thought you were it's just, just in your underwear. I was like, come on now. <laughs> no, it's, just um, the, it's just this. Yes. There oh you go. Oh my god, exactly what the fuck? It. He's actually L. Holy shit. <laughs> we figured it out. Number two is Dragon Ball, just because, like, I don't know oh, if you consider yeah, that an anime, nice. but, like, you grew up, I grew up with that. Like, that yes. was, like, the beginning of yes, it all. Yes, yes. Um, and the only reason that it's a number two is because, and this is, like, a huge debate I always fight with on my own, like, for my own self, but number one is Naruto. Yeah. Like, Shippuden is, like, gold, and it, like, as much as I love Dragon Ball, and I have Goku statues and shit everywhere, Naruto is it. Like, yeah, no, Tim so, got me into Naruto, the and five. then I end up getting friends into Naruto. There's so much of Shippuden, though, dude. There's so yeah. much. Yeah. And, yeah, no, Naruto, I 100% I understand. It's so good. Yeah. So good. Side note, so, <laughs> I've been thinking about this a lot. My actual waifu was Watson from Apex Legends. Ooh. A little bit of a Frenchy. <laughs> I've been legitimately thinking Sorry, about this. Sorry, I had to swallow that beer for a second. <laughs> I've been thinking about it a lot. I, I like Because Watson. I fucking I said Misty for some reason. <laughs> I said a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> that was the first thing that Legal in Japan. Mouth. Legal in Japan, Joe. It's okay. <laughs> to be fair, I was thinking as a kid, and then I was like, I, I used okay, to think Misty one. was hot when I was a kid, and then just the, I just went Misty. There's so nothing who's else. Who was the first? Who was your wor first waifu boner? A very uh, Misty was probably the first. Yeah, the Daphne. Uh, Daphne. The Cerulean City episode. Ooh. They have like the they have like the water show. All the sisters? Yeah. Just, like, the Cerulean sisters. Yeah. All the Cerulean sisters. Like, a whole bingo card, like, family situation. See, but situation. Then, then, like, Misty was a bitch on top of it. And then, like, if you look at my previous relationships, like, that just became the, the typical thing. Ah, I see. So you're you're going after a Misty. Yeah. If uh, we're doing... Mm, yeah, it's projection. If we're doing original waifus... If we're doing original waifus, I have to put in the comment, Dark Magician Girl. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fair where's one. my dark magician? She's right Sorry. There. One of these cards is a dark magician girl. Because of that, you know, because of that. But I played Yu-Gi-Oh! long before Pokemon, before Magic. I never understood Yu-Gi-Oh! I just collected it. But dark magician girl was the OG waifu. Blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> it summoned it. Mr. Just Mine. dark magician. <laughs> Um, oh Android God. 18 for me. Oh, Ooh, big, that Krillin kiss one. was, uh, I was jealous. Yeah. Yeah. I hated Krillin for that shit. <laughs> I was like, That's my waifu. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move on to new subjects now. Joe, Not, what is your pick from the list? I don't know. I kind of like the whole anime titty thing. That was pretty fun. <gasps> anime titties is a lot of fun. But... I don't know, but I do need to talk about this weekend because this weekend was. Wait, you, you are going to do it. I mean, just my weekend overall, dude. This was this oh, past okay, weekend was, okay. my, was, I my, thought was I... my birthday weekend. I spent it up in Milwaukee. It was your birthday? Yeah, the 18th. Oh, I'm sh shit. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, Happy it was his birthday. 18th birthday. It's a birthday. It's a birthday <laughs> podcast now. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> half of sorry, it was Joe. spent Happy talking birthday. about titties. So, still works. Yeah, no. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And well, we won't tell B. I mean, what? Sour Patch Kids. Um, but yeah. So did you light we, 18 Sour Patch Kids on fire? No, I just ate Did a lot of them and got drunk. Eat them drunk. chasing a shot per? Almost. But, uh, so this would typically be the weekend that we go to uh, Country Thunder. And mm -hmm. if you guys don't know what CT is, it's it's a three-day, just like, or no, it's four days, technically. Um, just like 
and it's all it's all country music stuff but it's like the one of the biggest like full festival things out there for it yep jack's left for the day um hey come back fucker um also he ruined the order now so just so yeah. you know Jax is Hello? in the bottom right corner now but um he, he heard country so and left. they canceled oh, it because of covid and shit What's happening? obviously Hello? and sorry i'm back i disconnected there i just did oh too. okay so literally the timing of that was so weird because i had just said country and then you just like left and i was like yeah i know you don't like it dude but for the sake of the podcast fucking sit here and listen to me um <laughs> no no i just stripped discord stopped that That's was weird it. and grim's now trying to reconnect as well yeah That's anyway fine. we can edit this shit out hello finally Hi. oh hey grim okay so everyone's back in place anyway story like nothing happened right um so we're up in milwaukee um first night we just checked into the hotel went and got food um and hotels then, are open sorry i just don't know what the fuck's open uh wisconsin's pretty lax right now with like their restrictions um but it's like you know masks everywhere pretty much um and you know limited capacity stuff so they're being smart, but they're also not, like, fully locked down. Um, but we were, at a, we were at an outdoor bar, played bags and Story stuff, time. nothing crazy. Um, second night, we or second day, um, we went and got lunch. It was pouring rain. They told us it was a half-hour wait, so we wandered into the bar next door. And the bartender there was named B. As in the same name as my girlfriend okay and he was super super cool and oh it's a he yeah he be yeah his his actual name is <laughs> brian so it was the perfect version of joe's girlfriend so shout out brian um <laughs> he uh, he was just buying me shot after shot and he was taking them with me um for my birthday and then we ate and then we went on no we went back to the bar so i'm pretty toasty at this point we've been sitting at a bar for a grand total of like probably five hours out of the day um and then we went on this super cool boat and it's a tiki boat and we went up and down the river like in the middle of milwaukee um briefly went out on the lake but it was really choppy and scary so we went back and then we got drunk and partied it up at the bar the rest of the night. Nice. And nothing else happened whatsoever. <laughs> Amazing. No, no, that's that's a lie. But we can talk about it. Stuff got weird on that boat. No, not on the boat. On the on the walk back. <laughs> we uh there were there were gentlemen catcalling girls as they were walking past. And then as we walked past, they were yelling at us, and we, instead of antagonizing them, just ignored them and walked past. And then apparently, we had messed with the wrong motherfuckers, um, so he approached me quickly, and I turned around and I said, yo, what the fuck is your problem? Like, you know, I, <laughs> we're cool, dude. Like, I, we're on the same side, stop yelling at me. And, uh... Then he just gave me the once over and turned and like walked away. And that's when I saw the gun in his waistband on his back. Yeah. And <laughs> if you guys don't know about Milwaukee, it's not, I mean, it's not a bad, bad area, but it's also not the nicest area at times. Um, it's like the Wisconsin, Chicago. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a nice city, though. I mean, it's, oh yeah, it it's an nice. amazing city. I love it. But like, yeah, you're selling it real good, her. Well, <laughs> you're, you're selling just, me on this, Joe. It's just the type of. It, I mean, it's like any big city. Like, it's a it's a beautiful place. There's so many things you can do there, but also don't wander down certain alleys at night. You know, like any right. other big city out there. Yeah. Right. Um. 
so yeah terrified life flashed before my eyes and stuff and then i was like fuck i could have just died if i had said the wrong thing just now um so then i got even more drunk and brian bought me more shots when we went back to his bar and then i was hung over all day sunday hell yeah that's so a good, that's a good time yeah it was it was eventful <clears throat> so that's why well actually no this won't affect when the podcast goes out because i have like the rest of the week to edit this shit but usually we do it on mondays but between other schedules and me still suffering from the weekend debauchery um yeah we are recording it today tuesdays by the way usually record on mondays we record on tuesday right now we record what? on yesterday and today we recorded on today that's what i mean i we record on mondays usually but today's i was tuesday. keeping it ambiguous so that people can i will fuck you so Oh. <laughs> that there is a clip, yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, so we're Boop. just about out of time because everybody wants to go to bed. Um, and last, last thing on that note, when you were in a different city and shit went down just because it happened, when we went to DreamHack Austin, Texas, for whatever reason... This trip was not planned by me. I just played. I just, I just paid for it. Everything was already, you know, in the works. Like, here's where we're staying. Here's the flights. Here's everything. This is what you owe. Like, okay, here's my money. So we ended up flying to, uh, um, Dallas, Texas. So we had to rent a car and then drive two hours to Austin, Texas. Nice. So. But it was a rough ride for me personally because they decided to rent a Camaro. That's I know I'm cooler. skinny and everything, but they don't have a back seat. You could have. So it was really <laughs> could have. Fact. We, we had a bunch of luggage with us. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was a little bit rough. I couldn't really like you know go to, over to like the driver's side, spread my legs to the passenger side of the back seat. We had luggage, so I was kind of stuck be- behind the seats, and that was with EJ and Derek who were bigger guys they need bigger room in the front so i was kind of squashed back there for like two hours straight telling them you said that yeah that's whatever um (laughs) jack said you're a fat fuck they're fat fucks (laughs) 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 Um, so what they ended up renting was because we were meeting up with friends in the states one coming from florida one coming from georgia and two coming from Texas. Um, we were meet, they, they were online friends. We had never met them in our life. We were like, hey, we're going to DreamHack. Like, you're our online friends. Do you want to come? They're like, yes. So we planned this trip as online friends. Um, and the place that we ended up booking was a fucking Red Roof Inn. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> so... The... The part that scared me the most that probably I shouldn't have been scared of because I didn't see it at all pretty much the whole trip was the fact of open carry. Because I have a place in Tennessee. It's like, okay, yeah, I got to remember guns are a thing here. You know, people can (laughs) still have concealed. Like, guns exist in this country. I got to remember that. Quite a bit. Merca. Yeah, yeah. Um, So we're at this Red Roof Inn. Merca. And like first night is fine, we get super we get super fucking wasted. Second night is fine, super wasted. Third night we're back completely smashed. All nine of us. There was like, yeah, about nine of us between my friends and our online friends because we all got this. We got two. For some reason there was nine of us. They rented two fucking hotel rooms. Perfect. Yeah, amazing. Pull out couch and someone sleeps on the floor. Awesome. Um, we're sitting there we're drinking beers we're going back and forth between each other's rooms and this pimp pulls up in his car the pimp and then 
Yeah, like, an argument breaks out between him and, like, people that are on the lower areas, like, the lower rooms of the Red Roof Inn. There's two stories here. So you walk up, st- like, set of stairs, you're on the second floor. Um, it's just all outside. It's straight up a fucking motel. And, like, we're all on the balcony. Our rooms are right next to each other. Everyone's going fucking ham. Everyone's drunk. A pimp pulls up. They get into an argument with... I. Th- think what was one of the customers the girl was going off and shit and then w- one of the smart asses from our online friends was like yo what the fuck your bitch costs like you know like stuff like that <laughs> and he's like are you looking to catch a cap get the fuck out and then like that's where it instantly turned and we're like oh we gotta stop this instantly and then you're so he started he started yeah it was like instant turn from i'm having a good time to hold on a second here and like he started chirping this pimp and we're like dude this stuff stops up and like like, we all had to start apologizing to the pimp and all this different stuff before this guy turned around did you call him daddy (laughs) (laughs) big papa flex that that was that, that was (laughs) <laughs> I'm Canadian. I don't know any better. That 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 was the thing that was like, yo, know, like, listen, sorry, we're from Canada. Like, you know, these guys, they're from other states. Like, we're fucking wasted. Like, hope you have a good night. And like, we had to try to be genuinely sincere to this dude before he got really fucking mad. He was a scary man dealing with this <laughs> shitty situation, and they called him out on it, and I immediately got scared. That. I hated that situation. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a good oh, time when you awesome. go from having awesome. fun to all of a sudden your life is threatened. This is America. Right. Yep. Yeah, that, that was... <laughs> Grim just one. sounded so sad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It sucks because I, I know, like, both sides, you know, pretty well, and it's just so different. You know the pimp Somewhere. side of the story? Pretty lit. I know illegal sides of stories quite well, but it's very different when legal Jack. carries a thing. Jax was the bitch. Pretty lit. No. <laughs> Jax was I, that, the pimp? I can't, what? This is something like, no, I, I can't discuss this one on podcast. We, but we anyway. can't all be pimps here. Come on now. <laughs> no, I can't discuss this one on podcast, but anyways. Um... Are we good to end it there? That uh, end it on that note, boys. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. We've been going for a while. I'm down to end it on the. Um, we covered two subjects of our fucking list, which is way better than I thought we were going to do tonight. I'm not gonna lie. Sour Patch Kids. So I'm super and anime fucking titties. Good. Anime titties. Number one. Sour Patch titties. Sa- hey, Ooh. that's the title. Now. <laughs> New business venture coming soon. <laughs> um. Got this. All right, yeah, let's wrap it up here, boys. Anyways. Okay. Well, thanks for having me. For yeah, of course, man. Absolutely. Thanks for thanks So, for... ending off the frag cast here. As always, going to have your boy Joe. Going to have your boy Grim. And special thanks to Seven Sun for being able to join the podcast on such short notice tonight. Uh, really appreciate it to have an extra voice in the conversations. And as always, sponsored by Nobody... This has been Frag. Stop Cat. calling Fr- Raid Fr- Shadow Fr- Legends Fr- nothing. Frag cast. Thank you for watching Frag cast, Joe. Please don't interrupt me. Thank you, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring us once again. Use code Joe for show at the check. Just fucking type my name somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, Anyways, we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for the podcast. Hope everyone has a great day. Thank you. Goodbye. Fuck. Okay, so the thing is that I couldn't talk about <clears throat> was the fact that 